Good morning. You might hear me say things like, be nothing, and in doing so, you can experience everything. Or, give all of yourself to awakening until there is no self left to give. I want to give a shout out to Carolyn, who posed, simply posed the question, what is nothing? What is this nothing that you're talking about? And I would like to answer that question today, respond to that question today. So, when I talk about nothing, I'm talking about the space that you are. I'm speaking of the most clear and yet undefinable state of existence. I'm talking about ultimate reality. Not perceptional reality, not objective or subjective reality, but ultimate reality. Jesus said that the kingdom of God, this ultimate reality, is within. What you see around you fades, it comes, it goes, it's very impermanent. I'm looking at this beautiful tree outside of my meditation hall here slash office and I am, ah, man, it's so beautiful. I'm amazed at the green and it's spectacular. It is a spectacular uh, energy. And yet, what I also realize is that that energy that I'm looking at, that I'm seeing as this form we call a tree, is much more than just a tree. We call it a tree, we've sla slapped that label on it, but that tree will eventually grow old and it will die and or it'll be cut down and used for firewood or to build a table or a home. And when this happens, we'll no longer call it a tree. We'll call it lumber or firewood or we'll just call it earth because it'll die and decompose and now it'll be used as energy for another tree. So right now we call it a tree, but we recognize it's much more. It's very impermanent. The energy is changing, but remains the same. And the same thing is true with your body. It's an energy that is continually changing. It doesn't have to decrease. It can actually, and this is, a, this is free of charge here, it doesn't have to decrease. It can actually continually increase, progressively increase, and yet remain impermanent uh, in that the energy that your form is when realize that it is being animated by essence in other words when you step into a place of essence free of self-consciousness that form begins to take on an ever new the Bible would call this a kainos new reality and it begins to continually um, change from glory to glory as opposed from instead of uh, instead of decrease it's now experiencing continual increase it's a whole nother thing if you have a question on that so throw it in the comments but nothing is what you really are so it's this it's not even the energy that i would define as your form or that i would that i would say your form has become or that i would say that tree is it's it's not that it's actually that space in which that energy is manifesting so Nothing is the space in which you, what you've identified yourself as, what you believed you are, the form, the mind, all these energetic components that are now moving throughout this playground we call the earth, that is actually not the real you. Instead, the space or the nothing, nothingness, is the space in which all things are unfolding. So I often say you must recognize what it means to be present 
before you to reckon before you can realize that you are the presence in which that present moment is unfolding. And so this is a powerful, powerful thing to recognize nothing. So nothing is the fading away of the concepts, ideas, beliefs, um, thoughts that you have concerning something. So I no longer need to fight to hang on to that something because I realize, I'm able to realize that that something is simply an unfolding within the nothing that I am. I can experience consciousness in the form while maintaining and while staying in a place of pure awareness that is not self-conscious at all, that carries no self. And it's this pure awareness that actually has to realize the oneness and the beauty of union and the perfection of being. It is in this place of nothingness that you and I experience perfect union. And when two individuals, if duality ever served a purpose, it's so that God could stare into the face of God. When two individuals that have recognized that these individual experiences, these individual consciousnesses, these individual souls are simply being animated by the same presence, by the same nothing, by the same essence, but manifesting in such a way so as to dance and play on this beautiful playground, then it's God staring into the face of God, but it doesn't, this God doesn't see another being, sentient being, instead it's God seeing God. As, as I've said many times, until you can see God in yourself, you will not see God in everything, and until you can see God in everything, you will never see God in yourself. So, when I refer to nothing, when I'm talking about nothing, now your mind, the intellect can't grasp it all the way. When I'm talking about nothing, I'm talking about that which lies beyond the field of alchemy, beyond the field of energy, and beyond the field of perceptional awareness. This is what you truly are. So, Give all of yourself to awakening until you, and so that, oh, because that energy is going to be used in the form for something. And as long as you're identifying as that energy, as that form, as that mind, then you should give all of it to letting go of the form, the mind. Not so that you move away from the personality and the joy of being, but instead the exact opposite happens. The, the, far, the farther removed you get from identifying in that form, in that energy field we call a body and mind, the farther you get from that, the more you're actually able to enjoy it. The vast majority of the reason why you might carry shame in your body if you're carrying shame or you're ashamed of your body. Now you might say, I'm not ashamed of my body, but then you actually are. People carry shame in their body all the time. Uh, it's one of the number one things that I deal with at our flow events is just shame in the body because you unknowingly, unconsciously carry so much shame, and guilt, and condemnation and fear. And uh, because we've identified so strongly as this, as this flesh and blood, as this mind, as this energy suit, so the further you step away from identity in that energy suit, in that what I call the avatar, the more you're able to actually begin to enjoy it. Because instead of wandering throughout the earth in fear of death and of starvation, of lack, of um, you know, these sorts of things, and instead of creating boundaries because of those fears, trying to protect the little life that we think this little energy ball of energy suit is, instead of doing that, now when you realize you're not that, you step into this place of freedom where you're now able to explore and experience that form in a brand new way. And Every moment seems to be bliss in that form because you're actually animated in it from a place of pure awareness, from a place of space. You are the space in which all things exist. You are the space or the presence in which this present moment is unfolding. I hope this helps. I love you guys. You're so amazing. Please drop whatever questions you have in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them in, in future videos or comment and uh, start dialogue with you.
I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.